Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio this evening. So as you can see, or you're going to be able to see in just a second, my reference photo, I am painting a morning dove for you. Uh, as always, I'm using my studio set of paints. They are M. Graham paints. And I am painting on Arches paper today. There's my reference photo. That's going to slowly scroll by so you can see what I've got going on. And uh, these morning doves, I always looked at them and went, they're gray. But there's really a lot of subtle color in there. There's a little phthalo blue that I'm putting on the top. There's some tans and some taupes and some grays and a little bit of pink. That right there is quinacridone rose that I just put on. And some blues in these birds, really a multitude of really soft colors that perhaps uh, we don't give credit to these birds for having when we see them out in the wild. Now I have uh, put out a feeder for my morning doves uh, because I really love seeing them come around and hearing them coo to me in the morning as they're getting uh, a bite to eat. And because I like them so much, I thought, well, why not do a painting of them? Excuse me, my voice. Uh, so in this painting, I am trying very hard not to use any gray and not to use any brown. I am mixing all of these colors myself. Uh, the browns and uh, grays that you see on there currently, well, if I can make my arm out of the way, are a mixture of uh, phthalo green. <laughs> my paints are normally sitting right over there. Thalo green and pyrol red, and that makes this beautiful color that we've got here. There's a little bit of, I almost said fur, a little bit of feathers right down here where that bird's leg uh, comes out of the rest of its body. But um, I'm trying very hard not to use a gray. I want to make all of these colors myself. And, and the hope in doing that is that we'll just get a wide variety of these browns and grays that are going on here. Uh, just a little bit of the branch here. Uh, again, this is from the pool of color that I already have going on, and I'm mixing a little bit of ultramarine blue in on the bottom of it, just to make it a little bit darker down there. Just touch in a very small amount of blue to give that stick uh, that this bird is sitting on a little bit of shadow. Not too much. It doesn't need much of any. It's pretty good the way it is. Uh, I didn't mention the brushes that I'm using today. These are silver black velvet brushes. I like these. They're nice brushes. Um, I keep trying to find fault with them because I don't love them. I like them, but I don't love them. But I can't find any fault with them. They're just good brushes, and they work, and they perform exactly like I want them to. Okay, so uh, we're, we're starting to dry up up here. It won't be long before we can uh, jump on these, but this is a little bit of black, I will say. I, I did use a, a couple of straight colors in here, but just to, just to get the beak on there. Yeah, just testing, testing. When can I get onto this paper uh, and do a little bit more? I don't know. And just straight black into this bird's eye. This is uh, M. Graham black, and it's a warm black. It's It could be colder. It's a fairly warm black. And this will lighten as it darks, and I'll probably end up putting another layer of black on there and then putting a highlight on this bird's eye with a gel pen, a white gel pen. I guess I do go through quite a few histrionics as I'm painting. I talk to myself all the time while I'm painting to keep myself in check, to make sure that I'm painting the way I want to. Uh, but now that I've got the first layer of paint 
on here and it's nice and dry. We can start going in and really giving the form to this bird. The first bit is underneath its chin here. And again, still using the same color palette. I'm not changing it. I'm, I'm strengthening it, mixing it on my palette. It's just phthalo green and a little bit of pyrol red and just letting the paint mix, looking at the tone. Is it what I want? Is it not what I want? And going from there, and you get this beautiful soft uh, gray brown color. Uh, there's a little bit of shadow underneath this bird's wing. I want to make sure I've got that there. And don't worry, we're, the shadow can be there. We're going to paint uh, the feathers individually underneath. Um, and so the shadow is just going to enhance that there's a little bit of depth between the wing and those tail feathers. And now that we've got that little bit of depth between the tail feathers and the wing, let's get a little bit of depth between the body and those wings. Just using that same color up on the top, just as we did on the bottom. You can see how I'm going about this there, the reference photo there. I, I see those wings and they're, they're, they look like they're lifted off of the body a little bit. And so we need to project that uh, onto this bird. Give those wings a little life, pick them up off of that body. Uh, and, and this is how we're beginning to get away from just having a flat uh, shape. And as we go along, we're going to continue to build that out. And you'll see when we're done, the, the wings actually look like they're, they're definitely a part away from the rest of the bird. But now as uh, the back is wet right there, I just touched it. I don't want to go too much into it and do anything, but the underside of these feathers, if I'm very careful, it's easier to, it's easier to paint sometimes <laughs> if you can turn the page. Uh, but we need to get the underside of those feathers nice and dark. And then we've got some over here that we've got some individual feathers that we need to highlight. As long as I've got this dark mixed, I'm going to go ahead and paint a few of these in. There we go. And you'll begin to see as I blend this out that we're building up depth and form on this bird. And you can totally see it already. That one little bit of color has, has added a great deal to this painting. And we're going to keep going by adding these colors. And again, I'm not adding uh, uh, any weird color or anything. These are all just mixes of that phthalo green and that pyrrole red mixed together to make this nice soft gray brown. Um, maybe I throw in a little bit of, of Payne's gray in there, but really not much. I want to keep the color palette almost exactly the same through this whole uh, process. So I've mixed some color and then these wings here have some really dark lines on them, right? And the nice thing about it is the very tips of these wings are white, so we can paint them all right in a row uh, without touching the, the nice tiny little line there, without touching the wing above or below it. And we can do these all at once, and they should, when we're done, just look like they're stacked up right there. There we go. One more wing. Let's load up that brush again. Or one more feather, I guess I should say. Let's load up that brush so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'll put the reference photo back up there. There it is. There's the feathers I'm working on. Those nice, beautiful flight feathers right there. And you can see how the tips of them are just a bit lighter than everything else around them, which allows us to paint them all right in a row without the paint touching and running into a different color. 
Very nice, just like that. And they're not all exactly the same uh, shade, and that's fine. That's fine, they'll dry, and in nature, not everything is exactly the same shade or hue. Uh, we're good with that, or I'm good with that anyways. I think it's going to add to this bird a little bit. Uh, and remember when I said we are going to do some more on the tail feathers down here? Well, we're doing it right now. These nice, beautiful, long tail feathers. Let's just, I'm, I'm more trying to get some color on here, and I'm going to blend that up a little bit. But I don't want to take away from that shorter feather on his tail. So I need it to be lighter there and darker at the end. And it should make it look nice. And I think it does. Okay, we've got uh, some wet paint on the bottom half of this bird. Let's move up to the top half and do a little bit on, the, on his head up here. And I want to paint close to his eye, but not right around his eye. I want to leave a little light patch right around his eye. You know, like, uh, like, the, like maybe there's a little bulge just going around his eye or her eye. I don't know which is. Maybe it's a girl, morning dove, but I think that helps to set the eye off just a little bit if you leave a little highlight just around it. And just trying to think about uh, form and shape. There you can see I've gone around the eye and I've left a little bit of a light area just there and it really helps the black of that eye stand out <clears throat> if you put a highlight on there it's going to look like this bird is now looking right at you just trying to figure out how i make that eye stand out <clears throat> and how uh, to give the head of this bird a little form a little roundness without being overly dramatic about it there we go you can see I'll pick that up so you can see it clearly. And I think maybe a little bit more under the chin. No, I'm, I'm working back towards the wing. Now, I've got some additional feathers down here that I want to highlight. So I'm going to do the same thing uh, that I've done in other areas. I'm going to just put a little bit of paint on and draw it out just to highlight where those feathers are. I don't want to. I don't want to paint every feather individually. I just want to show that there's a feather there. And uh, this morning dove that I'm taking my image from actually has some black or dark, I should say, feathers uh, there. And so I, I'm going to go back at some point and darken those up, and that will make those pop off the page. Uh, but we've got quite a bit of nice depth going on this painting. And um, here we are. Just defining these feet a little bit. I'm, I've, got a, I've got a very small brush here. Still the uh, silver black velvet brushes, I believe I'm still using. Um, but putting the paint on and, and with a tiny, tiny little brush, it's probably a zero brush, and trying to uh, blend it out instead of just a blob of paint to, to just the tiniest little <laughs> graded wash. And with that, those feet are starting to look pretty good. Uh, now we can move back into some of the other parts of this bird. Here we go. Right, and I've got to be careful in this part to make the color there a little bit different. I don't want it to run into, I don't want it to blend into and be the exact same tone as the other feathers down there. And this I can make uh, quite a bit darker than the others or slightly darker. I guess the others, I don't want to lose that contrast of that tail. So I've got to leave it a slightly different color. 
And then as I'm thinking about it, as I'm, as I'm talking to myself and letting this dry, uh, I've got to figure out, can I make that head a, a bit more pronounced? And what am I going to do with the wings? Let's take one more look at what this bird is looking like and what my painting is looking like and see how well or how badly, I guess, they, they meet up. There we go. You can see that little feather that I'm working on right there. And there might be another little feather down there I need to, there he is, that I need to do a little bit of work on. But you can see how we're progressing with this so far. And I'm trying to lighten that just a little bit as it comes up towards his body. Uh, I want to put light next to dark. I don't want uh, any dark next to dark. Just so... There we go. Now some water in there. And let that be nice and light so we can see where one feather is and where the next one is. And there's no... Uh, there's no... Your eye can pick that up exactly how it wants to. Okay, all right. Uh, as we're building this out, still looking good. Here's another layer of feathers that I've got drawn in here. And we're just going to uh, just very subtly let those feathers on the, on the back of the wing come out. And we've got some on the other wing over here that we need to just drop in. There we go. Just like that. I don't want them to jump off the page, but I want you to be able to see them. Ah, uh, yes, and there's some up here on the neck. Just a couple, a line or two here and there, where the feathers have bunched as this bird has turned its neck a little bit. And here I'm trying to, I'm trying to just make the jaw, I guess, the jowl, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> on this guy, stand out just ever so slightly more and, and give a little bit of, look at just, these are so subtle up there. They're going to fade way out at the, by the end, the, the last uh, bit of this painting. You know, the, the watercolor is just going to fade way out. You really won't be able to see too much of it, but we want some of it there. And I guess I'm going to define a couple of feathers, but I'm going to define more of them with a bit of darker color rather than anything else. Maybe there are a couple of lines of feathers on the back here. Just drop it in. I think in the end, the ones on the back that I just painted, I think those really aren't that necessary. But they do add a bit of texture to whatever we're doing. So maybe some. All right, now I've got my dark. I just want to make sure the value is kind of right. And some of these... Some of these feathers down here are quite dark, and so I'm going to drop those in. There's one over here, one over there. Just a few darks in there. I don't have these drawn in. I don't, I don't know exactly which ones I'm going to put in as dark, but I, I do know that I want to put a few in there. There's one there, there's one there. I know he's got one on his head up here. There are those. A little bit more on the eye. I, I, a second coat on the bottom part of the bird's eye, I think will help to set it off. I, I always try to do at least two coats on the bird's eye. And you can see now it's there's gonna be a couple of more in coming on here. It really does look like uh, this bird has got, you can see the subtlety there. The bird has got these normal dark feathers. Maybe 
I should show the reference photo again so you can see exactly what I'm talking about with those darks. There you go. Now you can see exactly what I'm talking about. How this bird has got these dark uh, feathers on there and they really just kind of uh, make it pop off the back of this bird really give this bird some personality and I would suspect that in the wild the other birds will know how to or I know that this bird is and in the is this individual bird by seeing some of these darks in here all right we've got a little toenail here or a talon I don't know what they're called on a on a morning dove a claw maybe just a claw I don't know it could be I'm still trying to get this eye exactly right. I want some darks around there. The darker you can get around there without being too dark, uh, but the darker you can make it look naturally around there, the more that eye is going to pop out. And what I really love is that the blue right there, that blue has not faded out. You can still see it. And the pink on the underneath, you can still see it. Uh, but this area right here might be a little too light, a little too light. Just add a little bit of color in there if you don't like it. Blend it out. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if anybody can hear it. There's some noise in the background. Oh yes, I'm using Arches paper. There's some noise in the background here. Uh, the studio here at the studio, we're getting a new heater. Well, it's in the house, but the, the studio's just outside. We're getting a new heater installed before winter gets here, and the workers are here to do that. So if you hear some construction noise in the background, that's what it is. There you go. A bit on the eye, a highlight on the eye, a little bit on the beak, and I think we are very nearly done. I really like this painting. I hope you guys like this painting too. This is one of my favorites that I've done in quite a long time. Um, if you like this, give a like to the video. Leave a comment down below. If you like this, if you'd like to see something else, hopefully it's a bird. I love painting birds, but I, I, I will take uh, all your suggestions into consideration. Uh, links down below to social media and to my website, to my Discord channel. Again, I hope you all really enjoyed seeing me paint this. I really enjoyed painting it for you. And we will see you back here next time. Thank you so much for joining me here in the studio this evening. Bye-bye.